Hello there, Golf Freak here, and welcome back to my Let's Play uh, Civilization 5. Uh, we last left off, I was uh, just preparing to uh, invade China peacefully so that I can use them as a launching point to nail Russia because Russia is just getting too large. Much too large. She's just a huge threat. Napoleon's also getting up there. Um, I'm hoping that Wu Zedong will uh, help me out. I mean, she's really weak. She's only got two cities. And we shall see. But anyway, I have a great person who is no longer among us, so I must have used him up already. Next turn. Well, that's inconvenient. Wu Zedong just declared war on Isabella. Okay, first things first. We're gonna make sure that this area over here is relatively safe. And then I'm going to start embarking my units. No, I don't want to control him. can't do anything you can embark over here then I don't know why it keeps doing this over here just to make sure it's safe and you can come over here You embark here, and you embark here, and you guys, I'm pretty sure, can you guys, no you can't, interesting, so you have to be <clears throat> on a separate space, you can embark here then, I'll take my other one, can you actually embark anywhere, yes you can, you can embark all the way up here, so we'll do that, We've got all but one unit to embark, so that's, that's good. Uh, the situation can be resolved on the battlefield. No. So. And I don't want to do that because I'm going to attack her. I don't want to see what my relations with everybody is. So I'm friendly with everybody, which is interesting. Is there. You do relationship with one of our enemies. Isabella probably like me even more. So Nebuchadnezzar and Isabella are probably going to be my bros. At least until I betray them. Let's see. And these have a movement. They all have movements of four. Okay. Well, we're going to try to, to group them uh, together. You can embark. You can come over here. You can lead the pack. Okay, you can come over here. You can come over here. Just trying to get a decent formation going. Doesn't need to be lined up pretty or in any kind of specific order based on the units because that shouldn't matter. Because I'm going to be landing peacefully. And luckily there's not seem to be any enemy units around anywhere near here. Uh, at least they're not enemies yet. Oh, there we go. Found one. And you're good. Now you move up a little bit. This is unfortunate because I can't attack him this turn. You're good there. You're good there. And you're good there. We got a Babylonian rifle attacking Rio de Janeiro. 
Ugh. Ugh. Freaking A. Lost a cavalry. Darn it. I knew that something was going to happen. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, that kind of kill that just kind of destroys my morale. China and Russia have signed a research agreement. Why? <laughs> okay, let's move my ships first. And plus we... And... Keep targeting. I'd rather have the enemy ships taken out first. Hold on, let me scout first. Seems safe enough. No, don't go there. I don't want to be in range of that barbarian encampment. good enough and be very careful because I do not want to lose any more units and you're good for now the nation that destroys its soil destroys itself okay so let's scout up here a little bit. Only about halfway there, I'm already down one unit. That's just terrible. Let's get everyone back over to around a centered, more of a centered area. Just pretending to protect a ton of city states, which is kind of interesting. Okay, Brussels, I need your help. And they have riflemen and stuff, so that's interesting. So this game is not looking too good. I'm probably going to have to do a domination victory. I don't like being forced to do it. I mean, I'll, I'll do it, but... I 
see if I can get most of my units up here. Okay, I should be able to land some of them by next turn. Uh, let's see, we'll have you move up. You can move up, and then you can move up. It's not really a big much of a move up, but that's okay. Um, best that you leave the protection to us. I'd hate for either of us to get stuck on any toes. Oh crap, she's guarded. Sorry, this caused a divide between us. Everyone's making peace. Hey, please tell me we have open borders with Wu's that son, because that would be terrible if we did not. Oh, it's you. Yeah, they're already allowing it, so that's good. So you're not too happy with me. Okay, so now I've got the majority of my units over here. My freak, come on down. I well, probably want to sweep along their coast because I don't protect my uh, my side. I could have been. No, I'll just embark you here too. Okay, starting to look pretty good. And yeah, I guess what I'm gonna do is just sweep along the coast. So you can stay there because just in case something happens with my units. And you're good there. I don't want to declare war yet. And everybody's making peace. Okay, we're definitely not declaring war on you. Just move you into position. Here, you come over. Oh, are they at war? Holy cow, they got a lot of units down here. Cool. Which is fine by me, actually. So, if I can set up my units before they can attack me. See, I wonder, is that show relations? Uh, global politics. Um, friends with me, friends of Spain, House Russia, Allied. Didn't say war though. It's interesting. Uh, do nothing. Okay, so let's. Dang, they have riflemen though. That's not cool. Well, I'm going to cut the video off here, so thanks for watching, and God bless.